Hey folks, how's it going? So, uh, customers brought this in. This is uh, a still MS170 and it is a oh, are we there? A 2007 model there. And uh, no, it's a medium size, well, probably a small to medium size saw. They're decent, they're good enough for like brushing up and uh, small tree work. They're just a handy little saw to have. Uh, I've got two of the uh, 018s myself, so I use them for small stuff. And uh, I actually use one of them with a an old barn, an old chain on, just for um, cutting plywood and bits of pallet wood. Basically, uh, my old chains go to that, and uh, they go for cutting the crap up, basically. So uh, basically, he just wants this checking over filters checking and a general cleaning uh, we'll check the chain make sure that's sharp enough and uh, it said the oil is leaked out of this the chain oil let's get this cap off it's got about half a tank in there I think it's about to see so it doesn't it hasn't lost that much really it's we just want to check the oil pipes on it make sure the oil pipes are good and uh yeah that uh, none of the pipes are split obviously and it's not leaking from any pipes if it's if it's come through the pump and actually gone onto the bar and led through that you know it's not too bad but uh yeah just make sure them pipes aren't split so uh, yeah we'll probably get this board off and uh, delve into that it's got a nice uh, Scabbard chain guard on it, that's quite in good condition. Chain's loose. It's got a semi chisel, 14 inch bar. I can't tell what that is. I think these are 3 apes Pico, so a 4 mil file. Let's get this board off. furthest nut system my uh one of my 028s no 028s 018s sorry has got the uh the quick release and uh yeah it doesn't mean too bad you know it works but i always prefer the uh the bolt option the other one the other 018 is slightly older that's got the uh the bolt option there with the uh, dual nut definitely not been clean for a while it's definitely it's a good sign as well for oiling you make sure you know you know it's oiling when it's all sticking like that covered in oil don't look too bad the oil way is uh, nice and clear there you just about to see it and, uh, yeah this passage is nice and clear plenty on it yeah, so we're cleaning all this off. Get in here and we'll get behind and have a look at that uh, oil pump there. That's the best angle for the camera there. That's about it. Best we're going to get it, I think. I've literally just had that screwdriver. Here we go. <laughs> so we're. You can get this clip off of like flicking off and flying across to a shop. That one's a C clip there, and then we've got a washer. Make sure your chain breaks off to get this out because you you be uh, you definitely won't get it out. Clutch doesn't look too bad. There's not much wear on the uh, sprocket, the spur here. I've worn them straight through where the chain actually slips around them and then your needle bearing there so this is one part that everybody or well, most people forget to grease 
it's not too bad when you're running the saw but when the clutch needs to slip it runs on this bearing this bearing takes all the grunt and uh, when the saw's ticking over you've got the chain brake on this bearing's in use so uh, you need to make sure this is uh, greased up you know, I still do a chain chain bearing grease so uh, yeah let's get the impact and uh, get this clutch off and we'll have a look at the pump behind make sure the pipe's not split and it is a I'm using a free force but I think it is a 19mm same so depending where you are in the states it'd be a free force and this is uh, clockwise for remove There's a clutch off. Seems in good condition. Springs look nice. None of it's going rusty. And then you got this uh, back back clutch plate. And then the worm drive for the, uh, the pump there. You can't actually see the oil pipes. Most saws you can actually see the oil pipes from this side. It looks like the pump is on the is the insertion type I haven't got one to show you but basically it's like a uh, the pump is just a law a, a long a cylinder type pump it slots in where some pumps like the in the 200 top handle like the 200 201s them pumps actually bolt on from this side so get this chain brake cover off because obviously we get I'm gonna cover this in some TFR and actually uh, clean it off and then blow it off with the arrows before reassembling so we get all these bits cleared up and uh, brushed off prepping there seems to be good the, uh, there's no oil here the seal looks good at the back it isn't it isn't wet at all that's a good sign there's no play in it touch the pump pulls over and there's loads of compression so you know it's uh, it's gonna be a good saw get this top cover off have a look at the air filter that doesn't look too bad definitely wants blowing off though you can see the, uh, the debris on there the saw itself definitely needs a clean proper caked in there and it the plug doesn't look plug looks new so we'll uh, probably get that out and uh, make sure this uh, spark gap set properly and it's all clean and there's no fouling we'll probably leave that in probably do that after cleaning so we'll probably get cleaned and then uh, one thing I do like about these uh, this design of saw by still is that the tanks are actually separate so if you actually take this cover off let's take this cover off so I can actually have a look that's the petrol and let's get the oil out there is you got the one bolt for the chain brake there and then one two three more screws fasteners whatever holding the body the pull cord cover to it but i think this feature underneath underneath all this is uh, it's quite good and uh it's a shame they actually uh, lost this feature when they, with the new builds. So let's pop this here. Chain brake out of the way. And pull this pull cord out of the way. I 
if you look if you see here both the tank and the oil tank there it's separate from the actual body so if one of your tank uh, develops a leak all you got to do is replace uh, the tank not the whole body where the new saws the tanks actually built into the body and there's like a an iron metal with a gasket uh, sealing the inner where they bolt together and this method I think is brilliant because it's you just replace the tank so it's uh, you got this extra protection in the, the side casing so if you drop it it hits that and not the actual tank where the new saws the tank is the uh, the outer casing one minute I might have actually uh, tank off the tank off the farm boss and you look the the actual tank is the outer case itself That's same with the oil tank it's actually the outer case so uh, I, prefer, I prefer these saws you know it's the bomb proof like that and all you got to do is buy that take the pull co cover off the pipes right here for the gate for the carb same with the oil it's just at the back and you access it from underneath here underneath the uh, anti-vibe handle, handle. And uh, yeah, your tank's done. You haven't got you haven't got to take all the engine out and take everything off the saw just to replace because of the tank split. Prop, uh, a lot better design. I prefer it. So I'll give this a good clean off, and uh, yeah, it looks a hell of a lot better. As you can see, the pipe to the pump and tank is in good condition. There's no splits on it, it doesn't seem to be leaking from there. So uh, I reckon it's just feeding through the pump and coming out the bar and then, and then running down because all this area was quite oily. So it's just running for the pump. So uh, I'll let the guy know that uh, it may need a new pump, but I'm pretty sure that pump will still work. And he says this has been sitting on a shelf for a long time, so. The oil's bound to wear uh, weak through a bit, isn't it? So uh, I'm not too worried. So let's get everything back together. Get all the bearing greased up and the uh, C clip all greased up. Get this uh, chain tension all greased up. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, give her a fire up and see how she runs. It definitely looks better clean. We'll have this plug out while we're here and uh, make sure that's nice and clean before we continue there right, the, the outside the plug looks immaculate so uh, I'm not too worried oh yeah it's not too bad give this a clean up and Get you in the light there. Yeah, plug it's all right. There's no cracking on the uh, ceramic there, and the uh, the anode and that not aren't worn down or pitted or breaking up. So I'm uh, I'm happy to put that back in. Unless it doesn't run, it doesn't spark. So <laughs> we'll soon see. Right, let's check these filters out and see how uh, clean and dirty these are. See if we can get the pick in there just to fish it out. That filter is immaculate. So uh, it's actually the tank's quite clean as well. You probably can't see that's washing out on the camera. Yeah, but that there's uh, minimal debris in that tank, so I'm happy to uh, leave as is. I'll have a quick look at that uh, oil filter the other side, because they're, they're, they're more likely to block up on a chainsaw, especially when the chain oil goes a bit uh, bloopy and waxy. Let's have a look. Barely get into that. I can 
just about to see the filter it looks quite good usually you can tell it's uh can't really see on the camera there depending on what oil you've got in this looks quite good like some uh especially uh, like vegetable base oils and uh they grow quite uh, lumpy and laggy inside the tank. They seem to block the pipes up. I find the actual still chain oil itself goes uh, quite lumpy. And then when you get to the end of the drum, usually in the drum light, like, you get to the end of the drum, you get a lot of debris, a lot of uh, basic bits of crap in there. I've been using a petroleum based uh, chain oil and that seems to be a lot better. I'm pretty sure the uh, still those better for the environment, but I still prefer the petroleum based. So uh, I don't know if that's mineral oil or what really. I'll get the drum. So this is this is the stuff I've been using. not sure the uh, the ingredient there it doesn't really say on what it is apart from its chainsaw oil I'll see if I can find a data sheet for it let's get this side cover back on we'll uh, clean the air filter get that back in and see if she uh, fires up there We'll see, see if that spark plug's got a spark or not. Okay, think didn't come out too bad. Got the four fasteners, three in the case, and then the uh, one for the chain brake there. Try not to block the camera here. these back in get the caps back on and then we'll start putting the cases on and uh, we'll grease all the uh, clutch and the clutch bearing that's a petrol one try not mix them up so we get oil everywhere It can't fall, much better. So, you got the worm drive here, it's got like a brush bushing in there. We'll put a bit of grease on that and get that back in. I haven't did this run yet, so uh, you know, the, the bearings could be shot, anything could be shot, really, but we'll. Uh, I've got faith. And then next, this uh, plate goes on. And it says top towards the, uh, the clutch there. And then the clutch itself. 
counterclockwise to put it back on. You ain't got to worry about too much about tightening this because uh, as you uh, cut into a log, the chain will be tightening itself, so it'll be winding itself on. Get this bearing greased. on the shaft there P for plenty just then get this wipe down Too bad. Now you gotta align the oiler at the back of this worm drive and you got the uh, the bar that comes off. You just about see me moving it at the back there. So it's right down there. You line this up with this knot here. So as the chain goes round, it winds the pump, winds that worm gear, gets the pump pumping. So line that up. Perfect. Chain brake works on this, as it should. All the springs look well. They look worn. Next to washer. This washer's got a bit of crud in it. When I'm washing a saw like this, and if I'm not stripping it down, I'll just quickly jet wash it and then blow it off and uh, spray some light oil on it. But I, uh, if I'm fitting loads of parts, especially deep inside, I'll uh, I'll strip it down and clean every single part individually. Bit of grease this side. The wash to sit on. And then a bit on the seal clip there. A neat trick for getting these uh, clips on is uh, to actually use your still spanner, flat or your star piece. If you put the seal clip inside it, lay it flat and then push down, clip goes straight on and your clip doesn't fly across the room or fly across the lawn or wherever you are and uh, you've got less chance of losing it. I'll show you again. Put your clip on top ready and then literally put your, sp your spanner over the top of it and push down and they are straight in. Put the chain brake cover back on. Nice, looks tidy. Took a bit of grease in the uh, adjuster there. So now we're pretty much ready for the bar to go on. 
have a look at this. Uh, this bar is really narrow at the end. It's like a uh, like a climbing saw bar, isn't it? Close to. Probably what it is. Give this a wipe down. There is a bit of bearing on the edge there. Quite easy, so we'll probably fit, flip the bar if it starts to wear on the bottom a bit. Let's uh, find my tool and give it a good clean out. So whichever way you're having the bar, you want to make sure these oilers are clean. You're going to wear their blocks, you're not doing oil chain. It only feeds from uh, one point. So we're going to have this bar upside down, because this side's more worn, so I'll have it like that. Literally, just fits in well. That does chain here, chain looks well. It's a semi chisel, fairly clean. Do a brightening up, it's not too bad. But I know the guy who's going to be using this is going for his chains, chainsaw course. So uh, I know you have to do a sharpen on the chainsaw course, so you'll uh, pretty surely be doing that on the course. I've got to put the chain on backwards. One minute. We're having the ball upside down now, aren't we? Well, it's still logo upside down. The bar is can go any way really. So that's right. Yeah. Let's get that in place. Side cover on. And again, this thing cleaned up quite well. Doesn't look like it's had any heavy use. That's uh get them on tight and then we'll uh the adjuster is here on these. Be careful because when uh, if you do it too tight with it slack, sometimes when you tighten these down, the chain gets tighter. You don't want it too tight, start causing the unnecessary work, especially on that needle bearing and the uh, the bar and the spear gear at the end there. seems good the air filter it's quite dirty one side 
give that a blow off. Cleaned up quite well. Wasn't that much debris in there. Ooh, push too far in. That's it. in place there's petrol in it shall we go for a start see your fire Well, she was running a bit rough there for a start. She uh, she did smoke a bit, and uh, well, I was just about to uh, start adjusting it, but then I realised that uh, we never topped it up with fuel. So uh, yeah, it was running a bit uh, weak there because it didn't have enough fuel in it. But uh, yeah, soon uh, cleared up. The smoke's gone. It's oiling well. You can just about see the film of oil there. Yeah, seems good. So I'm gonna like, sit overnight and see uh, how much oil comes out of it, and then uh, we'll make a decision on uh, whether we replace the pump or not. There we have it. One seventy. Hold still. And uh, yeah. I do like these saws, I like the design of it. Let's see if we can get one of mine out. So here are my two. There's my rough one for cutting board and that, and then I've got a brand new one here. Let's say, I see what I mean. This one, the older version. What year is this? Doesn't really. Say. This is a 2000 model. It's got the uh, the nuts there. And that is uh, still 018. Same design with the tanks. And then this is another 018. I don't know what the year is on this one. It hasn't uh, it hasn't got the label on anymore. But this has got the single adjuster. It hasn't, you know, I've never had a problem with it. I just prefer the, uh, prefer the bolts there. Well, usually I'd go and cut some wood now, but it's, uh, it's pitch black outside. It's still early, it's not late. And, uh, it's like five, six o'clock in the evening. But it's, uh, yeah, daylight savings. It's, uh, quite dark outside now. I don't really want to disturb the neighbours too much, especially it feels it always feels later when it's dark out, doesn't it? So yeah, this is uh, another one sorted, so the the guy can go on his chainsaw course, knowing that his sword is uh, good to go. It's all clean and all working right. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.